Hi, and congratulations on completing week five. Uh, you'll notice that the background is a little different and I'm a little perhaps different than I was in the other videos. That's because I'm finally back from Iraq. Uh, I'm in Antigua um, and trying to get caught up on sleep, but I wanted to give a quick re review uh, now that I have computer access a little more uh, ready on week five. Uh, as always, this semester, the class has done uh, relatively well, uh, actually very well, uh, and it's a small group, and you guys have, have really tried hard uh, to maintain with each other and um, move forward, there we go, uh, on uh, each of the discussion questions. So quickly, I know it's the day before Thanksgiving and I wanted to just do a really quick review of week five. The discussion question was after reading Bailey's article on interpreting parables, find two sermons or interpretive works, articles, essays, commentaries, um, and out that, that outline and are focused on the interpretation of the parable of the prodigal son in the book of Luke. Uh, compare and contrast the interpretations and discuss first the strengths and weaknesses and second the manner in which you understand the parable. So I was really looking for three different uh, analyses of the parable. First uh, from one source, second from another outside source, and then third how do you interpret it. Uh, for, for me the key to the grading was the quality of the two selected sources. Uh, the summary of the sources exploring the critical understanding of the context and purpose uh, of the parable, an examination of the strengths and weaknesses for each, and a discussion on how the two are similar or different. And then finally, your conclusion analyzing which is the stronger uh, position and some personal reflection on how to apply the passage in ministry. Uh, now, for the most part, all except for the last one were excellent. Uh, if anyone had content points uh, taken off, and there were only a few who did, uh, it was on this last part, the conclusion where you were analyzing the strengths and weaknesses. I just felt like there could be more uh, that some folks might have added. Our second assignment uh, is assignment 5.1, and it was a paper uh, using 5.1 literary forms and the Gospels um, wanted you to use the steps laid out in the audio lecture 12. I think that was by James Spencer, who wrote that lecture. Uh, and uh, on here, we had a kind of a, a mixed bag of, of responses. Scores were a little below average. Uh, and I was looking for an understanding of the setting of the parable, the historical setting and the cultural setting, to uncover the need that prompted the parable, to analyze the structure and details of the parable. This is the part that I think got missed most often. State the central truths of the parable and its relationship to the kingdom. And then finally, a summary and reflection. Specifically, I was looking for four steps. Step one was to compare parallel passages. Step two was to identify the form of the gospel. Step three was to identify the background information. And then finally, step four was to determine the message of the passage. Uh, and here is where um, some folks move from 100 to a 95 or perhaps even uh, down to an 85 based on how well these four steps were constructed uh, into your paper. As always, uh, page length is a suggestion. I am looking for you to master the material uh, and use uh, both textbook engagement and outside resource engagement in order to truly comprehend what is going on in these passages and to move your scholarship forward. Uh, so with that, thanks for all of the hard work. Um, I really appreciate it, and we're going into Thanksgiving tomorrow. I know this is a short week and a hard week, uh, so I'll let, let you get back to studying, but uh, I wanted to say hi now that uh, all of your other uh, lectures, as you've noticed so far, have been pre-recorded. Uh, your um, post-lectures will be live from me uh, as I'm in Antigua this week and next week, and then finishing up back in Raleigh before Christmas. So have a great day, um, and I appreciate all the effort you're putting in.